Hi everybody, Sherry Sicard, AKA Cannabis Sherry here. And I'm here today with Cannabis Sherry's cultivation editor, Mitch Mandel. And we're here to talk about the Viper Spectra 2-in-1 Grow Tint today. But before I get to that, I just want to remind everybody, hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell, because I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. Okay, I know, Mitch, that you like a, a lot of things about this tent, and starting with the fact that it is a two-chambered tent, right. but uh, tell us more. Well, I haven't used tents much, but I know that I've wanted to get some tents, and I, now we have a couple. And I've always wanted one of these tents because it has two chambers. There's one smaller chamber on the side where you can veg your plants, so you can grow some small plants to maybe this high okay. before you uh, turn them into flowers. Right. And then on the other side, you take that flower, that veg plant, you put it on the other side, and now you can grow it larger. So before you're finishing a grow, you can start veg plants on one side. When you take the one out, you can have something ready to go so on. So you have a continuous you have a, you rotation. Can, can continuous rotation of growing. That is lovely. I right. love always having plants, new plants to harvest. And another thing I like about that is this is this tent is, is for a little bit more advanced grower. We last uh, last time we talked about a smaller tent, which is one plant, one light. It's a, it's a very simple noob way to grow. Um, this This company also sells those tents. But what I like about this tent is if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to do a little bit more, with that veg side, you can also propagate other tents because it's more veg area than you need, but it's a good size veg area. So you can propagate other plants with veg, with, uh, veg plants for flowering while this tent is also flowering. So, yeah, so you could have several tents going or you could propagate for an outdoor grow even. You maybe? could propagate for an outdoor grow, sure. You, sure. you could start early in the season and get your plants uh, large and hardy. And then in, in April, put them out, and you will grow some monster plants wow. outdoors. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I know uh, Viper Spectre has this tent in several different sizes as well, so that uh, would... Right. What we're showing is the three-foot by four-foot tent. Okay. So you have a three-foot by three-foot uh, flower space and a one-foot by three-foot veg space. Okay. But the, one th the, the veg space has two, two levels. We're going to talk more about... We'll show more of the features later um, after, uh, after you put it together. Wait a minute, after I put it together? No, yeah. that's your job. Oh no, look, it's very easy. It's just the paw all the you don't need any tools. It's it's gonna be very easy. You okay. just put it together with these snap clips and it clips right together. The whole thing is, a, is fairly it's not gonna say easily assembled, but it, it, it'll take a little bit of time because there's a lot of there's several pieces. And you can see that there's full instructions of how to put it together. So one page of instructions. One really page. One, uh, okay. Everything, all all of the pieces are marked with letters. And all of the and the instructions show you which letter goes where. So, okay, it's I like, can it, do it's that. Easy, it's easier. <laughs> it, it's as easy as a child's toy. All so, right, uh, I can do that. I loved my Tinker Toys. So, exactly. So if you loved your Tinker Toys, you liked uh, those toys. This will go together really easily. So, um, all right, let's go put it together and check out its features. Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna go. All right. <laughs> You're, You're going to supervise. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go put it together, and then we'll show you all the features. All right. Okay, Mitch says this tent is really easy to build, so I'm going to go for it. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the instructions. Next, I'm going to lay out all the pieces and match them against the inventory on the instruction sheet. Next, I'm going to lay out all the connecting pieces, making sure that on the corner pieces, the black dot is always facing the floor. Now it's time to build the bottom frame of our tent. <laughs> Look at me go. Mitch was right. These pieces go together really easily. All you have to do is push the button until you hear it click and lock into place. Okay, there we have the bottom of the tent. Now it's time to put in the uprights that will make up these side supports of our tent. This is a time when you'll want to double check your instructions and make sure that you're putting the right size tube in the right place in order for everything to go together smoothly. As you can see here, I've put in some of the small cross pieces in our veg room and that's what's going to hold the shelf up in the veg room. 
Here I'm double checking that I have the right size risers again because these two are taller than the rest of the tent. Now when I'm putting on the top corners, you want to make sure that that black dot is facing towards the ceiling. So it faces towards the floor on the bottom and towards the ceiling on the top. To finish the tent frame, I'm going to put in the top cross beams. And know that while you're watching this in fast motion, the entire process of assembling the tent only took me about 10 minutes or so. Okay, one more piece and ta-da! The tent frame is finished. Hey, Mitch, come help. You're gonna need a little bit of help putting on the cover. Uh, building the tent is definitely a one-person job, but you probably are going to need help to get the cover on. Now that I have another set of hands, putting on the tent cover is not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. In fact, it went pretty fast. There we go. Now let's put the shelf into the bedroom. And now we're putting up the wall that goes between the bedroom and the flowering room and straightening everything out. It just velcros into place. And next we're going to put in the floors. Now the floors are great because it's going to keep your real floor from getting wet should anything ever leak. There's a floor for the flower room as well as for the bedroom. There are two actually in the bedroom. Now we're just going to zip everything up and da-da! All right, let me open it up and show, what, what, whoa! How did he get in there? Okay, now that we've built the tent, let's slow down a little bit, go inside and show you some of its features. Inside, we have the Viper Spectre XS2000 LED Grow Light. Now, we reviewed this light in another video, so there'll be a link to that in the comments below. It's also the perfect size light for this size tent. We hung the light from one of the three cross beams. From the other cross beams, you're going to hang your inline carbon filter and fan, which will duct air out through one of the many vents built into this tent. Now, if you don't have a carbon filter and fan, See the comments below. At the bottom of the tent, there are multiple vents for optional additional fans and filters, plus a large mesh covered window for extra ventilation. The smaller veg room has two levels for vegging plants, plus additional ventilation port. Even when the tent is all closed up, you can still get a peek at your gorgeous girls through the vinyl viewing window. Be sure to check out the comments below for a coupon code for a discount on this or any other Viper Spectre products. I'll see you next time and happy gardening!